Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and Civil War is about to come out. It comes out today, I'm going to watch it today. But before that, I still need to review one more movie, Iron Man 3. So yeah, I've been reviewing every single movie, Marvel Cinematic um, Universe movie that I haven't reviewed already. So I started all the way back in January with, with Incredible Hulk. Um, then I went off to do Iron Man 2, Thor, um, Captain America, The First Avenger, and now Iron Man 3. So yeah, those are, and after this, and after Civil War, I have reviewed every single Marvel Cinematic Universe movie up until now. And yeah, and after that, I only need, after that, I only need to review Doctor Strange and then one more bonus video. But Doctor Strange, that's all the way in the future. But I'm also going to be doing one more bonus review. So yeah, I look out for that. So yeah, Iron Man 3, it stars Robert Downey Jr., um, Gwyneth Paltrow, Don Cheadle, Guy Pearce, Rebecca Hall, Ben Kingsley, John Favreau, um, and Paul Bettany as Jarvis. So yeah. So yeah, now before I begin though, 10 second spoiler warning as usual. For those of you that actually watched the movie and haven't already, please don't, um, stop the video, go check it out, and come back here and watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those, have, for those who have yet to actually watch the movie and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I gave a fair warning, because as usual, I did. So as usual, click synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. So basically, you have this guy called the Mandarin, and he's basically a terrorist. He's threatening Tony Stark. Tony Stark, and one day, when, um, so yeah, and one day, um, he uses this drug, I suppose, um, known as Extremis, I believe that was what the thing was called, and basically what it does, it, it, it basically explodes people, and it leaves them with these, um, and leaves people who, who aren't killed with these weird kind of markings, um, kind of weird burn marks, so he's basically going, basically going after, um, the Mandarin, um, he's going after the Mandarin, and during one of his, um, attacks versus the Mandarin, he fails, and he ends up in this small town, and he is saved by this little kid, and he's basically Ty Simpkins. That's the name of the um, that's the actor who portrays the little kid. Um, so yeah, and, he, and that little kid basically helps him get back to where he is, you know, get back to fighting to be able to fight the Mandarin. And yeah, now the biggest issue with this movie, well, not for me personally, but the biggest issue that most people have with this movie is what they did with the Mandarin. Um, you have Ben Kingsley, who was supposedly the Mandarin, and then they switched it to Guy Pierce. Who, who was um Calvin um Killian who was Killian Aldrich Killian um and it turns out that he was the Mandarin for me I didn't really know that much about the Mandarin so I thought it was a pretty cool plot twist um come to find out that everybody hated that plot twist and yeah for me it, I really wasn't bothered by that plot twist and rewatching a movie it, it doesn't really bother me again it's it's yeah now is it better than Iron Man one nope is it better than Iron Man two Maybe, um, Iron Man one and Iron no, I mean Iron Man two and Iron Man three are more or less at, at about the same level. The acting is well done, the writing is well done, the action is great as expected. Um, again, just a major issue that most people have with this movie, um, is the stuff they did did with them. the Mandarin. Me, that really didn't affect me that much. I will say that the that the attack at the end, the big battle without the Iron Man suits, at the end, I thought that was pretty cool up until the point where he just destroyed all the suits. That part didn't really make much sense to me. And the fact, and I was, the stuff with Pepper Potts in this movie and the other girl, um, who, um, the other girl in the movie, um, Maya, I believe it was like Maya Henson or whatever, um, or whatever, I, I thought that was kind of extra in my opinion. Opinion that, um, it's kind of just there. In my opinion, it really didn't add anything to the story. So, so pacing-wise, there are some issues with the story. But as a whole, I find it to be an enjoyable movie. I liked it. Um, and, yeah, at the end, you see Iron Man will be back. So that was pretty cool. Um, of course, for Age of Ultron and now Civil War. So, yeah, I mean, are we ever going to get an Iron Man 4? Um, Robert Downey Jr. has stated that Civil War is kind of like an Iron Man 4. So take that as well. Um, but are we ever actually going to get an actual Iron Man 4 movie? Who knows? Um, overall, I liked the movie as a whole. Um, didn't really bother the stuff the Mandarin and how they used them. That really, that didn't really bother me that much, to be honest. Um, 
yeah, I mean, I just kind of would have liked a bit more backstory as a whole, because they kind of show him at the beginning of the film, and he's kind of like this nervous wreck, and then at the end of the film, he's like this really elegant, he's like, yeah, this really elegant stand-up guy. Um, couldn't need him more. Um, overall, good movie. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Good movie. And yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe, comment down below, like the videos on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.